what happens if they find a mistake? Okay. The word sofer, we call it scribe. The, the definition for the Hebrew word sofer is counter of letters. When they finish writing a Torah scroll, the very first thing that he does is count the letters. And in a Torah scroll, he's going to come up with 304,805 letters. And when he finishes, he gives it to a friend scribe who counts the letters. And he comes up with the same amount. And when he gets through, he hands it to a third guy who counts the letters. Now, it's not just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 304,805. Remember, there's no numbers in Hebrew. It is examination. They examine every letter, make sure it's the right size, make sure it's the right form, make sure it's the right difference, I mean, distance between the one before it and the one after it. They look at everything. So when they finish a scroll and they label it as kosher, complete and ready, it's exact to the one before it. I mean, exact. So, if there's a mistake, they write these in sheets. They don't take a scroll and tie it all together and lay it out and write. They write them in sheets. So if there is a mistake, then they have to do that sheet over. <laughs> Replace it and keep going. How many letters, uh, Hebrew letters, in the Old Testament, 39 books? Oh, I don't know. 304,000? No, that's in the Torah. That's in the Torah. In the Torah, it's 304,805 letters, just in the Torah okay. alone. An example of how the Lord is so involved in this goes back to our Septuagint when the Hebrew scriptures were transmitted into Greek. And they had 70 sulfurs. Right. Uh, each separate translating into Greek and then examined those scrolls to see, and they were all identical. That's right. Incidentally, we have a 1600 copy of the Septuagint.